Hello guys, it's Rico. Welcome back to another reaction video, man. So today we're gonna be doing a reaction video for um, Atlanta United versus Monterey. Um, game ended in a um, one-zero win for um, for Atlanta United, man. Very good game overall, man. Both team played very well. Uh, Monterey probably should feel very unlucky not to get an equalizer, man. At one point in the game, they hit the crossbar twice. Like um, I forgot what Monterey played. Pretty much shoot that goal from a long distance. Hit the crossbar and uh, out of play came off the crossbar out of player, hit it um head towards goal and um head towards goal and it hit the crossbar again man so it was just crazy it was just like not meant to be man but Monterey won the first leg in Monterey uh, uh in Monterey uh Mexico so they were able to advance man with a three one aggregate man but Atlanta won the game so that that's what it is man but three MLS team has got knocked out of the Kent Cup Champions League. Already by three Liga MX team, man. So before the tournament started, man, a lot of MLS uh, fans, even the um, the people that runs the MLS uh, websites and all that stuff, they was talking a lot. They was talking with confidence. We're talking a lot of confidence. It was pretty much overconfident. You never could be overconfident in Kanga Cup, man. I've been watching the Kanga Cup Champions League for a long time, and it's like every year they like Liverpool fans, man. Every year they, uh, this is our year. This is the year we beat Liga MX. MLS has grown a lot over the past years, man, but, like, so has Liga MX, man. It's not like MLS is growing and Liga MX is not growing. Both teams have been growing. So, every time, M Liga MX is, a, I think it's like this, man. MLS and this is Liga MX. Every time MLS grow, Liga MX grows. So, it's not just MLS growing, man. MLS is a way better league than it once was. And I definitely think they could compete with uh, Liga MX, man, on a regular basis, man. But, um, they just can't get past it, man. Uh... Frank DeBoer, bro, he's out, man. We, we, we're going to say, we're going to, it's time for him to go, bro. I know it's like two games, like official MLS games in the season, but like, I don't know what his um game plan is. I don't know what his idea is. He had one of the best team in MLS, probably one of the best team in North America, and he, he hasn't done nothing with them so far, man. Like, this was, this, this should have been a, a blowout, man. This should have been a, a comeback game. The game in Mexico, I think Atlanta United should have at least a, a one away goal or at least two away goals. And uh, the way they collapsed at the end. And this, yo, Guzman came up with some big save. And um, At Monterey played very well. Monterey played very well. I was surprised that Atlanta would really win this game. Uh, Jose Martinez, uh, great goal for him in the 78 minutes. Uh, Peter Martinez, man, this guy got, to, uh, he's very good. I like Peter Martinez, man. Ever since, uh, he used to play for River Plate, man. Scored some great goals in the Copa Libertadores final um, at the end of last year. But, like, He's new to the squad. He's definitely new to the squad. They're missing Amaran, and uh, the midfield is not clicking yet. They're not getting enough service up top as uh, they used to get with Almiron, uh, Peter Martinez. We got to give him some time to really adjust to the system, adjust to the squad. And uh, he's, he's in a new country, man. New country, new language, new environment. So we got to give him a little time, man. But he, the sooner the better for him, man. The sooner the better for him. Uh, the one thing I, I don't really like about Peter Martinez, like, he seems like he don't want to shoot. All his shots are from a distance. All he does is long distance shot, man. Joseph Martinez, man. Main guy. That's all he does is tap in. Tap in inside the box, man. So they're two opposite, but I think if uh, Peter Martinez could pretty much try to get the ball inside the box or whatever and try to shoot from inside the box more, he probably would score more goals, man. But good game overall. Defensively, I think both teams played well defensively. Both goalkeeper was great. Um, the Monterey goalkeeper, I'm not sure his name, came up with a big save in, in the first half. Uh, second half went back and forth. I think that, uh, the first half went on um, back and forth. I think both teams were equal back and forth with taking chances, uh, creating chances, creating opportunity, good pass going forward, good runs, and good ball movement. The second half was pretty much, I think Monterey was the better team in the second half uh, until uh, Atlanta scored that goal. And Atlanta tried to push on, but nothing came really came out of it. Um, I think they could have scored a second goal with uh, Martinez, got inside the box. And pretty much he, fouled one of, he got inside the box. Um, collided with one of um, Monterey players, and he pretty much followed the Monterey players, lose the ball in the process, and the ball kind of deflect away from, from both of them, and end up at Nagby, foot Nagby, shoot that goal, and if it would have been a goal if uh, Martinez wasn't holding the player back and following the Monterey player in the process, man, so that's why they didn't score a second goal. I think that second goal would have been very vital for them to push on and probably get a third goal, man, but good win for them. And but they got knocked out, uh, knocked out um of the 
um, the King of Champions League, man. This was the MLS team that a lot of people, including me, think that's going to be um, League MX team and win it, man. But they did not have, did not have enough. You could say if they if they didn't lose um, Amaran, um, Miguel Amaran, they probably would have been a better team. I think they probably would have been a better team. And if they've still been coached by their, their coach, Rafa Martinez, um, I think they probably would have a better opportunity for Monterey, man. Because Monterey is a very good team, man. Very, very good team and very solid team, man. But... Another league uh, MLS team got knocked out of the um, MLS, man. Kansas City, probably the MLS best chance. They're playing right now versus a team from Panama. Um, they're down a goal, but they do have a away goal. So who knows what could happen. They're playing in Kansas City. Kansas City is a force for them, man. They, they're a very good team. Probably one of the best teams in MLS, my personal opinion. I think they should be able to get by them. And who knows where they go, where they could go on from there, man. But... Um, if they want to be the team, man, I think Monterey is the only team that Kansas Sporting Kansas City could beat. Uh, I think Tigres or Santos will really beat uh, Sporting Kansas City. Sporting Kansas City, but who knows, man? I love this uh, league, man. So shout out to the Kang of Champions League. Shout out to everybody that watches it. Shout out to everybody that watches this video, man. Let me know what team you support: Atlanta United or Monterey. Let me know what you think about the game and where the MLS go from here. And uh, will they ever beat? Um, will this be the year, man? Because it's Sporting Kansas City still in it. Uh, will they will they be better next year, man? But like, subscribe, and with that, you boys out of here. Peace.